Back in Tim's Red Hot Repairs, it is Thursday, and it's time to log in and see if there's anything in the email for stuff to do. Uh, looks like it. <laughs> Got one from Audrey here, a hot and broken PC. Hi, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. It's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. If you do have to replace the fan, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. Okay, so let's see what's broken. Apparently we know that a fan is broken. Maybe? Maybe. So what's broken? Is it this guy? Because I don't see any case fans anywhere. That's interesting. Okay. Um... We'll go ahead and accept that. Uh, hello, mate. I need your help from the real Harry Osman. I borrowed my mom's brand new PC, and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Anytime you want to say I shouldn't have, it's not shouldn't of. It's shouldn't have. If you're going to say shouldn't have, then you need to add another apostrophe at the end of the T and then a VE so that you can have a whole boatload of letters that don't really go together, but at least make sense. Now it's riddled with viruses. I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house. Hurry, hurry. Okay, um, sure. And then from GSX Jeff. Hi, I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs lots of RAM, apparently. She says she needs 16 gigabytes, and I've currently got two gigabytes and four RAM slots on my motherboard. I had to think about that one for a second. Okay, so we need to upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to need to buy some parts for one. So let's go to the shop, and we're going to buy some RAM. We'll just uh, do it this way. Okay, so we're going to need... She needs 16 gigabytes, so we're going to need probably uh, four of these guys. I guess we don't really need to go crazy with expensive stuff, right? Let's go back to that computer and just see what you're using. Just kind of out of curiosity, you're using Mortoni Value Supreme. Okay, um, yeah, you're going to be fine with that stuff. So we'll go ahead and go back to our shop here and memory. And I'm fine with the A Data Premiere, although I will look just to see if there's anything that's cheaper. There's some Mortoni Value Supreme for 35 bucks. Eh, we'll just give you this. Okay, there's gonna be 16 gigs of RAM. And then I don't know if we're dealing with a dead case fan. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one of those guys into the cart. And I don't know if maybe we need We'll throw one of those guys in the cart, too. We're going to end up with a bunch of extra parts we may not need, but I'm okay with that for right now. And I want to take a moment to maybe change the wallpaper. Oh, man. Which way do you go? I think the obvious answer is right there. Duh. Okay, so basically we got a bunch of stuff lined up for tomorrow, if we look at our calendar. We got Audrey's stuff, we got some delivery stuff, we got Jeff's stuff, and we've got uh, Harry Osmond's stuff. So we'll just go ahead and kick on over to tomorrow. Okay, end the day, go to work, and I'm gonna take this stuff first, cause we'll do that, and we'll just kind of start here. So Audrey's computer, go ahead and place this guy right there, and I think, if I remember correctly, we're going to have to uh, remove the side panel here. So we'll just unscrew all these guys. And then we can go ahead and grab our compressed air. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the guy that's broken right there is that air cooler. I didn't need to get a case fan, but I think in the long run it will be okay and we'll end up using it on something and it won't be a complete and utter waste of money. Okay, dust is all gone. So let's see. This guy is presumably bad because I just want to take a moment here. I don't see any case fans. So we're going to go ahead and remove the Mortoni Thermal. 
Um, let's remove that guy, which means we can then remove that guy. And then CPU cooling, that one is indeed broken. So we'll just pop that guy in. I um, guess we can kind of, that's kind of cool. You can really, really get in there and be granular about that. That's kind of fun. I like that. Connect the air cooler. Okay, so that guy is all nice and good to go. And I guess before we put everything back together, let's just make sure that all of this stuff works. It should be okay now. I mean, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. We did all the requisite stuff, so we'll go ahead and turn that on. Yep. Fan is spinning. Okay, computer's looking good. There you go. Computer booted. We'll just go ahead and turn power off. And then I think we can go ahead and remove all of our cables. You know, one thing I've noticed about this game, if you stop and listen, I don't know if you can hear it right now. There's always the sound of fans in the game. It's kind of annoying. Why is there always the sound of fans? I guess I could go play with the sound settings and turn that off, but I'm a little afraid it might turn off all the sound, and I like the sound of the screws being, you know, taken out, put back in, etc. It's just it's kind of, they're fun little sounds. I like them. Okay, so one down. Uh, let's do our scan job. This one will be nice and easy. So we'll just pop that guy down there, and we're going to work on you. We need our USB drive aplenty. And then we'll just go ahead and grab all of our cables. Man, if only it were this easy and this quick to do everything. Okay, turn this guy on. Got a couple hard drives in there. Nice cooler master case. Everyone seems to be rocking some nice stuff these days. All right, let's uh, bust out the virus scanner. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You're, you're getting there. Uh, yes. Go ahead and restart now. That sounds excellent. Bing, 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 bong. All right, look at that. I, I have seen... Hmm. This road was used in one of the Bond movies, right? And probably also in the Grand Tour. Nope. Top Gear. Pretty sure I remember it from something. Just out of curiosity here, can I... remove this now? I'm going to remove it because I'm curious what happens. Like, he just wanted the computer scanned, right? So I just want to see, does this satisfy the requirements? So, yeah, it sure looks like it does. I think this is probably okay. Yeah, I'm good with this. I'll just cut power right there. Never cut power like that. But I did. Because, you know, I run a terrible repair shop. What can I say? Okay, we'll go ahead and grab this guy. I always end up, like, zooming the mouse around because I'm expecting to have to do that. But I really don't. All right, Jeff, let's see what we got going on here. And we haven't even checked email yet. So keep in mind, we still have that to do. We're not done yet. So we need to upgrade the RAM. So let's go and work on this guy. We're going to remove our case here. Okay. Remove the case. Yeah, remove the side panel. How about that? Um, let's open our memory clips. And technically, we're going to need all of these guys to be opened. Okay. Okay. Pop that RAM out. And then let's grab our A data stuff here. We're gonna pop one in there. And then we'll pop one in there. And then one goes over here. And one goes over there. And we should be able, nope, close that. Okay, so those guys all closed, right? Okay, just making sure. I didn't even look to see if it would have been more cost efficient to go with two eight gig sticks. I just figured, eh, go with four fours. That's fine. I am kind of curious, though, if it would have been cheaper to do it a different way. Eh, it's fine, though. I was just making sure I didn't lose my USB drive. Didn't think I did, but it wasn't positive. Nope, I meant to do that. Come on. Go in there. 
All right. Power. See if this guy boots to the OS. I mean, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. There you go. Ooh, you have hot air balloons. I like that. That's nice. That's pretty. Okay. So we can go ahead and remove all of our cabling now. I don't know if it'd be worth it to have a thing that automatically connects and disconnects cables and all of that stuff. Maybe. Look at that. I did not go crazy with the mouse that time. You're welcome. So theoretically, we should have a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Uh, stuff in here that's broken. We'll just sell that because that's broken. And then memory. I guess we'll hold on to that. I don't know. Heading. Note text. Yeah, I guess I hadn't looked at that yet, had I? Okay, let's see if we have an email, because I think we're going to have some stuff I need to do here. So that guy, we can collect the money for that one. 320 bucks for that one. Great. Get rid of that. Help quickly. Collect the money for that one. 200 bucks for that one. Discard that one. Collect the money for that one. And discard. Okay, so now we have... Uh, I guess we leveled up. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, Asus Radeon. RX 560. Is it Asus or Asus? I've heard both before, and I don't know which is correct. I like Asus, I think. Okay, so we've got uh, a Thermos Evo. I think that's going to be a cooler. And then the Strix Radeon RX 560. And ooh, look at that. Uh, another 560. Some new RAM. There we go. There are some 8 gig sticks right there. And some Team Group T Force dark silver 16 gig sticks of ram all right so let's start at the bottom here you work with computers right i sure do christopher steinbeck pc is super slow right now yawn i'm hoping for 16 gigabytes of memory if you can stretch to that it's urgent so please hurry those plastic black cables look really nice sent from my phone so we've got a budget here of 200 bucks upgrading 16 gigs of ram if I'm understanding how this works, the budget is going to be, I guess, what they're willing to spend on parts. And I don't know, does it work if we spend less than that? Do we get to pocket the extra money? I don't know. So you have one stick of Sheen Titan XL 8 gigabyte in there already. So if we could find another one of those, that would be easy to just pop one of those sticks in and call it good. So we'll accept that one. And then Carefree Reindeer. Hi, are you available for a job? I need my PC cleaning. Okay, is that something you offer? It seems to be running quite warm. In terms of time, can you get it finished by 1-8-2013? Three days? I think I might have visited one too many dodgy sites. Those plastic white cables look really nice. I don't understand what this talk about the cables thing is. Um... Are you asking for cables to be replaced and have different ones? That's kind of the feeling I get here is like someone's asking for some cables. Um, wow. Uh, do we have... We have those guys. Okay. I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. That whole thing just seems really weird to me. Um, where is the Sheen memory? I would prefer to stick with the same memory if possible. Sheen Titan XL. Okay. Um, we don't... Oh, boy. Um, 30 bucks for that. I feel like we should throw some other crap in the, in the cart if that's the case. What is the difference between the loose plastic cable and the ribbon plastic? And sleeved. I mean, obviously it's going to be... Ah... Uh, Hold on. I just I want to take a look at what we have in here. So we do have loose plastic and sleeved plastic. Okay. I, I'm i still not entirely sure what I'm doing with that. So I'm just going to... I think I'm going to leave it with that and call it good. We'll just go ahead and buy that memory. And I think with that, we are good to go on this stuff. I think... Um, I think that'll be fine. Man, their budget of 200 bucks. They didn't need that much. Not at all. Go ahead and end the day. Go to work. And let's collect our RAM. I'll we'll just go ahead and take this guy right now. I want to do the one that's going to be the upgrade of memory. Okay. And then we'll install some memory here. 
I'm gonna need to open that memory clip. I'm just gonna assume that this was installed in the correct slot in accordance with the requirements of the motherboard or the suggestions of the motherboard manufacturer because, um, you know, mine would not be using those particular slots, but it's cool. And we just need to make sure this thing can boot. So nice and easy. Probably would have been cheaper to do it that way, huh? I think that might have been less expensive than buying four four gigabyte. Nah, oh well, that's fine, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm really not. Okay, good. Let's um, work on this and remove the cables. My bad. Forgot to do that, that would be helpful. Okay, dump this guy over there, you're good to go. And then our computer that we need to clean. I mean, this one's easy enough, right? This is just, take this guy off, pop, 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 pop. Why is that smoking over there? Did you see that? Roll the video back and look right here at this little brick. It looked like it was smoking. It was probably just dust motes, but the way it was flying around, it sure looked like it was smoking. Okay, come on. Almost there, almost there. There goes another little dust moat. Man, this thing is a mess. Okay, and just like that, it's now clean. Go ahead and put our side panel back on. There's no reason that this shouldn't boot unless it has additional problems. I am kind of curious of something here though. Hold on. Um, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. I was gonna say, maybe what I should do is mess with some of those cables, but um, I don't know. It might be too late for some of this stuff. Maybe what I'll do is I'll replace this person's cables and see if it does anything since we didn't do that for the other one. Boop, 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 there it is. Okay, so let me take a look at this one. This is Carefree Reindeer. So I wanna pull up Carefree Reindeers. Those plastic white cables look really nice. Okay, just for giggles here, because I'm really, really curious. I don't know if you can go back and grab stuff later. Um, I don't know if I can... I don't know which of these I can unplug and which ones it'll let me replace. I don't know what I just clicked on there. Like, I legitimately don't know what I just clicked on. I think that was the back panel. Okay. Um... If I remove that, can I do something like... Can I do that? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and unplug all of these cables. And I want to see if this is going to give us any sort of bonus to do this. Okay, we'll just do some sleeved ones over here, it's fine. Okay. I mean, that, I guess that looks okay in there. Oh, I see one more. Unplug that guy, and we'll do... Nope. Nope. There you go. Uh, nope, not what I meant to do. Let's try that one more time. Meant to do it with the white. No, nope. white. Was I using gray before? I'm not sure if I. Oh my gosh! Come on now. Okay, let me try this again. I think I was using gray, not white. Um. I guess that one I just can't trade out. I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna call this good and just say you needed to have those things replaced because I don't know. 
Okay, now we gotta make sure this thing can boot. I'm pretty sure I plugged everything back in. Oh, come on now. Cat's like, dude, all you have to do is click in the right area. It's really not that hard. It is. See? It's difficult. Trust me, kitty. I know how this stuff works. I am a professional. Okay. Pick this guy up, put you over there. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. Steinbeck, uh, sip, blah blah blah. Took some money for that, labor, new parts. Okay, so we, we don't get the leftover. I didn't think we would. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> we did not get any extra money for cabling, so I'm just going to assume that I did everything correctly, and that's fine. Probably didn't. Hi there, I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim, and it's been overheating whenever I try and do anything on it. I took a look under the CPU cooler and there's no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand you fix this for free and this time test the PC before you send it back out. Okay, I'm good with that. I mean, my uncle's an idiot, what can I say? Hi there, I hope you can help. My computer stopped working the other day and will not turn on at all. Please, can you have a look for me? I think it might be the motherboard. If it needs a new one, I know it needs a Skylake socket. Okay, so. Got it. I got to think about this for a second now. So what do you have as your motherboard? A Mortoni H170 M Tech, and we need a Skylake motherboard. So maybe that Mortoni. Hey, I recently upgraded my PC, but now it's not working properly. The computer boots okay, but when I try and benchmark it or run a game, the computer crashes. I haven't replaced my PSU. Could my new parts be drawing too much power? Yeah, they really could. So we're going to need to install a Sheen Power King 600 or better and then run 3D Mark. Okay, got it. So we kind of know the stuff we need to do. So we're going to do motherboards first, Mortoni H170 M Tech. And uh, just out of curiosity, what was this guy's budget on the motherboard? 100 bucks. And then this guy's budget is 80 bucks. I was going to say, I'm totally down with buying this guy a better board if, you know wants a better board and he's willing to pay for it so we need a sheen power king 600 and then i need to check and see what we have in our box over here do we have okay we do have thermal paste but i am curious if we can get can we get like better thermal paste that doesn't seem like it nope okay so let's go ahead and check out the cart next day delivery done those things will arrive tomorrow Everything is in transit and good to go. So let's go ahead and end the day, go to work, collect our stuff. And let's see, which one is, let's see, this one is the power supply. So we'll start from this side just for giggles. I haven't done that yet. And we're gonna need to remove you. We still don't have a ton of money at this point. I mean, we're, we're okay, but we're not doing great. Um, I guess let's remove this side too. I don't know if that's the easiest way to do it, but I was just thinking it might give me good access to everything here. Okay, oh my. That is a lot of screws. For the power supply. Okay. Okay. Power supply. Install this guy right there. And we need to install our PSU mount. This is not a good angle, apparently. I should be on this side, because that would make much more sense. Which is why I'm not. Got it. I don't know if it matters if you do things in correct order, so I really should have done diagonals, but... Oh well. Here we are. And then now we need to... connect various things. Oh, 
I'm connecting those things. That's cool. Um, connect that there. Connect you there. Connect that there. Oh, I'm still using the white cables. I hope this guy doesn't mind. Because <laughs> apparently it just uses whatever the last one you used was. Good. Good to know. Let me zoom in a little bit just to see. Looks like everything's good. I don't think I'm missing anything. Everything is plugged in, so let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll find out momentarily if everything is plugged in. Okay. 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Ooh, look at that. A staggering 15, 16 frames per second. Ouch. How long does this run? It'd be awesome if it were like a 15 minute benchmark and you had to sit here for literally 15 minutes. Just waiting. Just waiting. That'd be great. Oh no, it keeps going. Can I, can I just let that run for a second? Okay. Tell you what, um, you, you do stuff over there and I'm going to go check email cause, um, I don't know. Uh, can you clean this PC? I've not been looking after my PC. Can you clean it up for me? It might need a bit of a clean. I'm guessing it needs to be cleaned. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Can you finish before tomorrow? Uh, wait, what? I clicked on something bad. If you can, I'd love some plastic black cables in there. Um, okay. I still don't know what the deal is with everyone asking for cables and stuff. Um... So complete by the end of the day tomorrow. No problem. Hey, things aren't working fast enough. I want 16 gigs of RAM installed. I've never cleaned it out. Is that okay? It's not as quick as it used to be. No, it's really not. So what are you dealing with here for memory? You currently have 8 gigs of Team Group T-Force Dark RAM. You have a budget of 250 bucks. So this is where I start to wonder if maybe... I can finagle things a little bit. I'm going to do some shady stuff because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do in this game, right? Okay. Uh, it looks like everything runs fine. We'll just go ahead and I think we can call this one good. So let's put our case uh, side panel. Sure. Put this one back on. Zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. Hey, Zoop. Uh, nope, not that one. I don't want to play the remove the power supply mount again. That was not a fun game. And we'll put our side panel back on. And zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop. And zoop. Okay. Um, cool. Theoretically, they won't mind that I changed all of their cables out. They were bad. I'll just tell them they were bad. It's fine. Uh, we need to replace the motherboard on that one. We need to apply some thermal paste to this one. Let's start with this guy. We're going from the other side, remember? Other side, other side. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? We need to replace the motherboard. I wonder if there are motherboard mounts that we have to replace. That's an interesting question I have. So let's remove all of these cables. And let's see, let's remove... I guess, really, we need to remove everything, don't we? Okay, remove that guy, remove the air cooler, unplug that, open the CPU shield, remove the Celeron. And this one's going to be a lot of work, isn't it? Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Unplug that guy. There's one more memory clip I was trying to get to. And we'll remove that motherboard. Oh, goodness. If only it were this fast in real life. If only. Okay, yeah, there are posts on there. That's kind of cool. I like the attention to detail. Wait, what? No, take that one out. That one's bad. That one needs to be thrown in the garbage. This other board is bad. We've, we've already identified this. Okay. I don't understand what's happening.
Okay, let me try this again. Remove the stinking motherboard. Okay. Do I need to remove the post? Why do you remove the post? I'm gonna... Oh my gosh. This is stupid. I protest. That's dumb. There was no reason for that. Like, seriously. There was no reason to remove the post, too. I don't appreciate that. That was silly. That's a waste of time. We have all these jobs we need to do. This is this is not the time to be wasting time. I don't remember if this person cares about what color of wiring they get. So if they don't, I might switch back to black. Let's go see Woodward. Email. Woodward. Um, does not care. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch our cable wiring, etc. ing to this guy. Start connecting stuff. Try that again. Try that again. Okay, and then we're going to need to put a processor in there. I like how it says whose it is. That's kind of cool. Like, seriously, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's fun. Okay, and then we're going to need to put some thermal paste on that. Uh, is that it? I mean, I know you're not supposed to use a lot of thermal paste, but... Just saying, that's not very much. I don't know... Am I supposed to believe that the arrow is indicative of the direction the fan is blowing? I mean, it looks to me like it... Well, I can't tell if it's in a push or pull. I'm going to just leave it the way I think it was. We'll call that good. Okay, so let's connect the cryo rig. And then I think we have everything hooked up on this guy, so we can just go ahead and plug everything in. I know we're missing the case, the, the side of the case, but I'm not really concerned about that one right now. Oh, we need a mother, we need a video card in there. Duh. I forgot we still have a broken video card from someone. That's eight bucks we're sitting on right now. Jeez. Okay, power this bad boy on. Oh no, we need memory. Uh, yeah, got that. My bad. We can do this here. Let's put your RAM in here. I'm going to do it the Ryzen way, just because that's what's on my mind right now. Or at least my particular motherboard way. There we go. Let's turn this guy on again. Ready to boot. Okay. Posted. OS is coming up. I see a desktop. Looks like fan is, I'm going to say, blowing the right way. I think we're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove all of our cables. And then we have one more job to do today. Okay. There you go. Put that one there. And then this one, Uncle Tim screwed up pretty badly. Pretty badly. So here, let's go ahead and take this guy off. That guy off. And then we need to zoom in a little bit so we can remove that, because that guy's got to come off. And we need to put some thermal paste on there, because I don't even know. That looks fine. Connect this guy to that guy. I don't think this one wanted any particularly w different wiring done. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect our cables now. And we need to run 3D Mark on this one as well, apparently. So we'll have some time to dilly dally and order parts. Okay, 
Thermal paste is applied. Which I guess means we need to install 3D Mark. Oh, that'd be helpful to put the thing in there. Did say it was a doctor, right? Wonder which one of them is the doctor. 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Sure. I'm sure we have full rights to install this on as many computers as we would like. Why do we have to reboot for 3D Mark? That seems weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It just goes to show how much I don't use 3D Mark. Because literally, I don't. 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Go ahead and run that guy. Theoretically, you'll be fine. Eh, you're getting some frames per second. That's all that matters, right? Okay, so what are we going to do? We need... Um, that one we'll go ahead and collect our money for. Collect our money for that one. Oh, hello. Bongle. Bongle is a new review site where your customers will leave you feedback, both good and bad. You can see your current rating out of five stars at the top of the screen. A better rating will mean more varied and lucrative jobs being available. You can download the Bongle app to see what your customers are saying about you. Try to keep them happy. Um, maybe I will. We'll see. All right, so we leveled up. We have unlocked Ryzen quad-core CPUs in the A320 chipset. Bunch of additional things are available. Some processors, some coolers, some GeForce 970 and 980 cards. Man, that takes me back. Not so much the 560. I think I, I don't remember. I might have had a 560, the Radeon earlier that we unlocked. I forget. Uh, some new RAM, a bunch of hard drives. Oh, check that out. These are actual Seagates. That's kind of fun. Some more more Tony something or other at the Bongo app. Next milestone, level four unlocks 28 megahertz. 28 megahertz RAM. 28. Can you believe that? 28 whole megahertz. Radeon 470. I don't know why we got the 560 before the 470. I forget how that came out. I'm just going to assume that's right. Um, new B250 chipset and the quick screw tool, which, if I remember, was insanely expensive. Hello from sunny Spain. I was just surfing on the beach. Not wave surfing, internet surfing. I noticed your bongle rating is in the toilet. What are you doing over there? I've attached the login details. You better get it installed and check it out. You need to get your star rating up or you'll be stuck with just cleaning and scanning jobs. Back to my sangria, Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim, I kind of hate you. You have screwed so many things up, it's not even funny. Okay, good to go. Uh, nope, we need to remove cables on this one. And the USB drive, okay. Enjoy your free copy of 3D, 3D Mark, the doctor says, 1976. There you go. Put that guy over there. There you go. Collect. There we go. Bongle review of five stars. Excellent. So let's take a look at Bongle first. Mm, add remove programs. Where is... How do we add Bongle? I don't, I don't see how to add Bongle. Uh, we have some Radeon 370s available now. That's kind of exciting. Um... I'm a little confused now. Do I need to install it from the thumb drive? I assume Bongle is not here. It is here. Oh wow, 300 bucks for this? Are you serious? That's not even worth it, who cares? Jeez, guys, this is insane. That's interesting. Will it run? Find out whether it will run or not without the pain of installing the parts first. Huh. I'm kind of curious about some of that stuff. Fine, I'm going to buy Bongle, even though I'm really unhappy about it. That just seems unnecessary. Displeased. Displeased. 300 bucks to look at the reviews that have been left by the people who hate my uncle because he's terrible. Why do you have to reboot for Bongle? Why do you have to reboot for everything? This computer, this this operating system, this Omega OS, Omega OS, not Omega. Omega is terrible. 
fire up Bongle. Tim's Red Hot Repairs. Look at that. We are getting close to two stars. Everyone's left... Um, well, everyone recently has left pretty good reviews. I like them. No business working on computers. Not the repair shop you're looking for. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Where, where can I post... Uh, New, under new management ownership, etc. Because the previous owner was an idiot. Completely incompetent. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to experiment with blowing some money. We've got a budget here of 250 bucks to upgrade a computer with more memory. Actually, before I do that, let me look at this guy's computer just to see what we're using here. He's currently using some 2666 RAM. So, nope, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to the shop. Just minimize you for the moment. Memory. So, if we do some Team T Force Dark, etc., just out of curiosity here, I can straight up buy some of that stuff. But I think what I want to do is buy two of these. I'm going to try to be shady as crap. And we're going to find out if it works. Because I have a plan, if so. Wahaha. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a plan. I just want to see if I can be shady as can be. And that's where we're going to leave this one for right now. We are... I think we're doing pretty good. We're almost at level three here. Or four? Whatever. I don't know. Our rating on Bongle is almost up to two stars. I don't know. Yeah. So, quarter of the way through level three... Almost up to two stars on Bongle. We have a couple of things in transit. Going to call those good. Go check out patreon.com slash KICGaming. If you got value for what you watched today, consider throwing a little value back my way via Patreon. I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.